Hi, my name is Sena Tsoui. I'm lead developer and product owner of KeyHub Certificate Lifecycle Management Tool. And today I'll perform a demo of KeyHub platform for you. So let's start. Basically, KeyHub is a traditional certificate lifecycle management platform or CLM hosted in the cloud. It has real-time automatic SSL service discovery and monitoring, reporting, expiration dates tracking, and alerting. In addition to deep discovery, user is also able to create a certificate sign-in request using certificates which were found using KeyHub as templates, and then send it to CA to finish their renewal procedure. So let's go to the actual platform. And the first thing uh, which you see is the main app. Uh, on the main app is the dashboard. It covers all graphical displays of certificate stats and it allows you to easily uh, analyze uh, general information about the certificates you have in your inventory. For example, you may see upcoming expirations, which will dynamically show you the work you should do in certain periods of time, depending on certain states. Um, this week, I have something to do on PKI site, since for certificate should be updated, renewed. And I have like more than 200 expired certificate, which is not so good. Um, you may also analyze the inventory certificates based on the key information such as a signature hash algorithm or key strands or CA information, certificate types like EV, self-signed or basic, or uh, certificates hosts count. All dashboard widgets are clickable and they will compose a required filter and navigate me to the actual inventory. Um, actually, Next interesting thing here uh, is the searching and filtering. There are two types of search in KeyHub. The first is basic, the second is advanced. Basic search gives me an ability to search through all certs in my inventory uh, using some specified string. Um, and another option to perform search is uh, advanced filtering option. Uh, basically, an ability to create a custom conditions for your inventory filtering. Uh, so you go here by clicking advanced tab. And then, uh, for example, let's compose a filter for certificates with, uh, which I think are not secure for my uh, security policy. Uh, <clears throat> so I would assume that uh, it's certificate with RSA type. And uh, size which is less than or equal to 1k bit. Um, also, I think that uh, certificates which has um, signature algorithm such as SHE1 are not pretty secure as well. So I can just, just click find and try to find such certificates. Uh, here is the filter, filtering operation is performed and I got the results. Um, I want to be aware just in case if another search will hit a uh, search will hit such condition so i'll save uh these results as a group and call it um weak search group and i also uh, i will always uh, have it on the left menu here and i will access the information uh basically groups uh are persistent inventory filters Groups are not static, they are dynamic. So for example, when another SHA1 search uh, will be found during the next scan, I will be automatically be aware of that uh, and will see it in this group. So I can right, right now analyze each individual certificate and fix the problem. On my left menu here, I have uh, several groups for different departments uh, and one group uh, which we just created uh, about week uh, um, related to week certificates. So based on that, I may create the report, uh, and I can be notified on the system health check uh, on some regular basis. So let's say health uh, check report, and then I can I can select uh, groups which I'm interested in. So let's say week certs and IT help desk and DevOps certs. Uh, should should go to that report um, and uh, I will select uh, the schedule so I want to be notified uh, I want to have received the report each Monday at 9 a.m. for example um, after I will click save 
the report is scheduled and next Monday I will receive such a PDF report uh, with uh, general certificate information and some uh, groups uh, basic uh, information uh, about certificates. So I can I can go uh, to the inventory itself and analyze uh, certs more deeply here. Uh, in addition to reports, you're also able to enable instant alerts based, based on expiration events. So uh, you may do that in notification settings page. Um, for example, uh, I can choose the, the, the alert events such as 3, 7 and 14 days before the certificate's expiration and I will receive such an alerts, not only me but all the recipients which I specify here, the recipients' emails will receive detailed links to those particular expiring certificates. Um, actually, uh, let's take a look to certificate details more deeply uh, by grabbing some example certificate here. And look what we have here. So yeah, we have the common name. We have the um, expiration, uh, expiration information. Uh, we also have the certificate chain, we have the revocation information, CRL um, links or IA, uh, authority information access links. Uh, we can also see here the certificate uh, subject alternative names and basic X509 attributes such as uh, country, state and all, and, um, all different attributes. Um, there is also endpoint uh, or endpoints information and date when a certificate were, was discovered, um, date and time when certificate was discovered. That's actually a very useful information when you have one certificate located on different machines uh, and you update it on several endpoints, um, performing an operation by on updating the certificate. This will definitely help you never lose any of uh, such endpoints. Uh, so in different, as you can see here, in different dates, the certificate was found on different endpoints. Um, cert may be either, either deleted or archived. Um, if I'll click uh, on delete, the cert um, next time during the scan, if the cert will still exist on the endpoint, it will be saved back to the inventory. But uh, if I'll click archive, it will be just ignored, even, uh, even it will be discovered uh, again on the next scan. Scan. That's how it differs. If you want to see all archived certificates, you have uh, you have a custom filter for that uh, based on certificate type. Uh, certificate type should be. Oh, sorry, not certificate type. Certificate status uh, should be archived, revoked, expired, archived. So here it is. Um, yeah. Finally. When uh, finally, when certificate is close to expiration or expired, uh, I can click the renew button here. Uh, so what it will do by clicking the renew button, uh, um, the KeyHub will automatically uh, create the certificate signing request using all fields and all the information from previous certificate. And I'll just click generate, and here it is: the certificate signing request is generated. Uh, and so what I can do next, I can just grab the certificate signing request, then load the output materials and send it to CA to finish the renewal procedure. Um, the important note here is that KeyHub neither generates or nor stores private keys on server side. Uh, all private key material is generated in browser on the client side uh, machine. By the way, here on the tool section, we, we just came here to the tool section, uh, KeyHub also has self-signed certificate generator for your internal uh, purposes, or it also has certificate or CSR decoder. So let me just let me just show an example. I have the PAM encoded certificate here. Here, I'll just paste it and I'll see the parse certificate. Uh, useful tool for um, some PKI activities. Um, that's pretty all, all about uh, reporting and analytics part of the key hub. Uh, to analyze and track certificates, key hubs should first discover them. So uh, let's just go to discovery tab and view what we have here. 
uh, GitHub supports um, external and internal network scanning. Let's create an external profile. The name should be would be like external external scan here, uh, external PKI scan, and I'll just specify some domain name. Let's say remiiu.io. And external scan may be done by just specifying the domain name or domain list or external IP range. I'll just go with a uh, uh, domain name. Um, basically, th there is one more checkbox here, which is called include subdomains. Basically, GitHub may automatically search for subdomains in public available resources. Uh, so I will just check this um, check this uh, checkbox. Uh, so the certificates should be. Uh, they, like uh, the subdomain should be scanned as well. Uh, there is an additional check boxes for CT logs. So what it is, GitHub actually uh, also automatically monitor all public public available transparency nodes in real time. Uh, so it does it to detect potential certificate misissues. Uh, so I'll just check both of them. Um, it usually takes uh, around one to three minutes for GitHub. Uh, after CA issue a certificate uh, for GitHub to notify the user about that event. And then GitHub downloads that certificate to, uh, to the inventory as the discovery, um, as part of discovery operation. Uh, so in case if someone will issue a certificate for my domain, uh, Remi.io, or uh, some subdomain, some star Remi.io, I will be notified in a manner of one minute. Notification is actually maybe set it up set up in uh, settings as well as alerts. Uh, you may also specify ports uh, when creating the scan profile, but I'll just go with defaults for now. And finally, you have the schedule, uh, same as for reports. Uh, so yeah, I want the scan to be performed on the regular basis. Um, so I'll just save this scan and it just started. By the way, uh, you can after you start a scan, you can track the progress uh, on the dashboard, or uh, you will also receive the scan completion alert on your uh, email address, uh, or you can disable that alert if you prefer that. Uh, that's pretty actually on the internal the external scans. So here we have the certificate actually one more certificate discovered for me. Uh, these, the external uh, scan is still in progress. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Same as we create the uh, external profiles for external public available resources using domain names, we may also create internal scans using uh, IP ranges. It's done just by specifying different tab. Uh, internal like scan internal network so then we should specify the ap range same the ap name uh, the uh, profile name and github will perform the scan using the agent so the agent actually here is the agent tab the agent is the sin uh, client util which can only scan ssl endpoints and send public certificates part to github it's the only purpose, purpose of this util. So let me show you how simple uh, how it's simple to install such an agent. Let me just click. Uh, well, let me just type test agent demo, and then I'll specify the uh, operation system. We support, GitHub supports both Windows and Linux based agent. Um, you can you can download it using the just binary link, or you can download it uh, just using the curl. I will go with the curl command, and I'll go to the folder, and then just download the agent on my Linux machine. So it is the agent in the is downloaded. I'll just click continue. GitHub generates a, a command for me to start this agent. I'll just I'll just copy it and paste, and here it is. So actually, the agent is running, and I'm open to I can I can create this scan profile right now. So let me go back to yeah. I'll just click continue, and yeah, I have the congratulations that I have installed the agent. I'll go back here uh, to the scan profile and just click already existing scan profile. I can specify the IP range using just the human readable IP range or CIDR notation. Uh, it's all up to me, and then I can. 
I can just uh, use the default uh, ports or I can specify the port ranges uh, if I prefer. Uh, but GitHub uh, usually uh, just, just propose uh, the most common SSL ports. So I'll just go right now with the defaults. And uh, let me let me just let me just start that profile, and I can see that it's started. Um, actually, Agent Pulse main system for new tasks each five minutes. That's how it works. So let's not wait those five minutes and just restart the agent to see the progress a little bit faster. So let me just uh, imagine that I've started agent again, and here it is. It started scanning scanning my network. Um, I can go back here to the dashboard and view the progress here. Uh, I should take like maybe like one or two minutes to the separation to be preferred. Yeah, here it is. So I can see that the scan is completed and it found like 18 new certificates in my internal environment. Let me just click to view those results. And yeah, here, here they are. Some expired certificates, some valid certificate. Um, so I can now analyze those certs uh, and view the endpoints where they were uh, discovered and fix the problem. Um, so actually that's pretty it on the uh, general platform overview. And thank you for your attention and have a great day. Bye.